Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you find the videos useful and helping your designing process. If you do, please go ahead and tap on that subscribe button. Uh, hit notification bell uh, for further content. Leave me a like and a comment. I absolutely love to hear from you. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Also, uh, uh, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, there's a uh, super thanks button right below here. You can buy me a cup of coffee. Um Mastering Matrix Gold, a smooth transition from Matrix. Uh, our second session will be this Tuesday, coming up February 13th at uh, 11 a.m. Central USA time. So please check your local times, and uh, I'll post a link below for registration. So please, if you have an active membership to uh, Gym Vision Matrix Gold Academy, please go ahead and register. I'd love to hear from you. If you're watching the channel, please go ahead and throw a comment in there about uh, the channel. Uh, today, uh, what we're going to do, uh, so please uh, register. I'd love to, love to see you there on Tuesday. Uh, today, what we're going to do is something pretty easy. I had a comment on the Facebook channel and I'm not sure if this is exactly what you're looking for. Uh, but, uh, usually what happens is the, the craftsman will kind of finish off the prongs, how, you know, they kind of like or whatever. Uh, but uh, this might be what you're looking for. So uh, if you go and you grab your uh, setting, right, I'm just going to leave it at default settings and not waste a lot of your time. Uh, and what we can do is, first of all, what we want to do is probably change it to shaded and then go in here and maybe drag those prongs down so that our edge right there where our dome's at is kind of like even with our girdle of our stone. And then we want to come over here to our dynamic commands and go ahead and switch to maybe level two. And what we can do is grab that uh, dome height and just kind of drag it up a little bit. And then we can hit that rotate dome uh, and then kind of lay it over onto our gemstone, right? And if you don't like that height, you can go back and uh, go back to that first one and maybe lower that down a little bit so that it looks like it's right on our stone. Uh, and if you're wanting maybe more of a pointed shape, uh, you know, you could always change the, the prong type uh, to something like this here. Uh, and you can get that real sharp point on there if that's kind of what you're looking for. I, I'm not exactly if this is sure if this is uh, what you're talking about, uh, but there's uh, you know all kind of things you can do in there, and you can drag that up if you wanted to. You can go back to your uh, first one, uh, second one there rather, and drag that uh, out a little bit more to give it a little bit more of a point uh, or whatever, uh, you know. But you can manipulate it any way you want. It's just kind of going in and maybe making that dome a little higher and then using that rotate to lay it over if that's what you're looking for. If not, please go ahead and leave another comment of exactly what you're looking for and I'll try to help you out. Uh, but that's kind of how you do the prongs. But this is all actually done after the stone is being set and they're bending it over and following, shaping the prongs, right? And the jeweler can actually shape the prongs any way they want for the most part. Uh, so hopefully that's kind of answering your question. Uh, so let me know, please. Uh, and thanks for watching and good designing.